What's happening guys, it's Ryan from R. Davis Electrical. Welcome back to the channel. So a little bit dark in here. Um, we haven't obviously got no light. So uh, in the middle of this rewire, well not in the middle, started a couple of weeks ago. Uh, for anyone that saw my YouTube video on how I got this job, you can check it out up here. So yeah, we're gonna have a little run through, see how we're getting on and I have a little guest with me also. Just gonna go downstairs and introduce you all to him. He's probably gonna be a little bit nervous, but unfortunately, if you wanted to come work with me, he was gonna to have to have the camera shoved in his face. So um, he's well aware. I'll just uh, introduce you to him now. Right, this is Caspar. Caspar is, what are you, level, doing your level two now, Caspar? Don't run away, don't yeah, run away. Uh, doing his level two, uh, not a huge amount of experience. So uh, I actually did a job at Caspar's girlfriend's house and uh, that's where I met Caspar. Um, yeah, I promised that I'd help him out and get him through his level three. So yeah, here he is. Um, hopefully get plenty of content with you in it. Gonna get um, some bits today of Casper uh, actually working and running through what he's actually learned so far. So for any of your apprentices watching, uh, keep an eye out for that because hopefully you uh, might learn something today, which is uh, a rarity from me. Um, but you're doing all right so far, aren't you, mate? Enjoying it? Yeah, fair. Enjoying yeah. it for sure. Good, good, good. And yeah, his name is actually Casper. It's not. Uh, it's no nickname, is it? because no that's doubt someone's gonna uh, mention it in the comments can't be his real name but yeah it's his real name so yeah quite a cool name if i'm uh, honest oh, it's uh, <laughs> better than ryan that's for sure oh, no. um yeah it's um a bit dark in here got the uni light supplying some light the uh the new rl 5250 because it is pitch black in a lot of these rooms got a bit of festival lighting going on so far uh, just to give us a little bit of light, but not this room. So hung that one up on the joists. Right, so I'm gonna take you all upstairs first and we'll sort of work down and I'll just run through what we've been doing. Right, so this is the loft space of this house. We have one bedroom here, which Casper is staring out the window of. And then we've got another bedroom here. So all the first six done sockets are in. <clears throat> these uh, walls are being dot and dabbed so believe it or not no capping isn't that right Casper? No why no capping do you know why uh, it's going to cover it don't really need protection we've got our sockets are going to be dead in line with the cables so they're within zone it's all going to be arsenic protected in it mate and to be honest if someone's going to screw a picture up or now no capping's gonna stop it anyway. So we've got lights in the centre. We've got some hatches gonna be cut in here. So we've got feeds in for the lights. Some sockets gonna go in the corner there. So yeah, all in all, up here is basically first fixed. We've got smoke alarm, lights. This is gonna be a bathroom. Still undecided on what's gonna happen in this sort of section of the room. So feeds left here, ready to go in for some lights. So yeah, all in all, this, uh, this First floor, second floor part of the job is all first fixed and ready to rock and roll. So we're going downstairs. Yeah, three floors this place and a huge kitchen extension as well. This place is massive. Right, walk you downstairs. We have the master bedroom. So master bedroom, still need to do boxes on these. So literally just slang all the wiring in. Um, yeah, slung all the wiring in. That is gonna be a walk-in wardrobe. So you're gonna cut a doorway in here, light switch there. Big, huge walk-in wardrobe, bigger than most bedrooms. Um, yeah, big old walk-in wardrobe. So we've got cables in position. Here, yeah, slowly going, slowly moving. I've only got Casper. Uh, I keep trying to call Casper Callum for some weird reason. I'll have to change the name to Callum. Callum. Nah, no, I can't do, can't do that to him. 
Can't do that to him. You're going to be the number one apprentice, mate, aren't you? It's going to be better than that Adam Dunlop who works without Nick Bundy. You haven't got a clue. He hasn't got a clue who they are. He hasn't, I couldn't believe he, did, he doesn't even follow me on Instagram. Or he didn't follow me. I thought I, I, thought I was pretty uh, well known on Instagram, but Casper didn't have a clue who I was, which is quite good actually. I actually didn't. Uh, it was uh, nice and refreshing. Um, but yeah, obviously I told Callum. Uh, uh, Cal <laughs> I told Casper um, what I, well, like my so sort of social media presence and whatnot, and um, yeah, and he didn't give a monkeys. So yeah, <laughs> didn't care. But you follow me now, though, don't you, mate? Yeah, yeah. loves my TikTok, don't you, mate? Yeah. No, he doesn't. Oh! <laughs> oh my God, that was a bad really. Was it R. Davis 25, isn't it? Yeah, shameless plug, but got to be done, unfortunately. All right, so we've got our feeds coming from upstairs. It's going to come down this wall. Socket's going to go there. They're going to carry on going back down. And then the fuse board, the staircase is sort of downstairs in that sort of area. So we're moving the consumer unit to under the stairs. It was in what is now going to be some sort of other bedroom downstairs. Yeah, so them cables are going to be moved. Uh, board's going to be moved, position. Uh, head end's obviously staying where it is because I'm not going to touch that. Uh, going to put a isolator in. Uh, yeah, because it's uh, a lot further away than three meters, the new board. So yeah, I'll show you that now. You're just going to follow me around like a lost puppy, mate. Told you to, mate. Did I? <laughs> yeah. Did I say follow me about? Did I? No, you're like, come upstairs. I'm <laughs> joking. Yeah, it's uh, bless him. Can't be left on his own. Can't be left on his own. So, did I show you this room? I showed him this room already, didn't we? Yeah, we got um, socket switches in here going on. Yeah, light switches and sockets. You lot know the drill. You lot know the drill. This is the downstairs hallway. Love out everything. All the renders been taken off completely removed throughout this uh, place so everywhere is going to be dot and dab so it makes my life a lot easier obviously I bring my cables down the wall when it comes to fitting boxes I think we've got 25 mil on these walls um, so I will be putting 35 mil boxes everywhere just to accommodate the flat plate sockets and switches so I will have to do a little chase in the wall just to accommodate that 35 mil box but that's standard isn't it mate he ain't got a clue. He ain't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> but mate, you're, he's learning quick. He's learning quick. He's only been with me, what, this is the fourth day or something, fourth, fifth day. But um, he's learning quick. All he knows about the discount codes. Lo what, you, you love the goggles, didn't you? Always got the goggles on. You can tell he's fresh out of college because he's so health and safety conscious. <laughs> Every, oh, no, I've got to have gloves on. Got to have, it, got to have the uh, safety goggles on. Listen, he's doing it correctly. You can't, uh, they don't suit you, man. Oh. They really suit you. They look good. You're going to be the envy of all your mates at college, mate. <laughs> yeah. So this is going to be the sort of dining area. And then and through here is going to be, I think we're going to have a little bathroom. That bathroom in here? Bathroom and bedroom, apparently. Some of these walls, these walls are going to come out. So yeah, not really got any yet. And then this is the kitchen. This absolute beast of an extension. The boys have moved on really well, really quickly from the last video I did here. This would have been, yeah, just a garden area. So yeah, the boys are doing really good. Won't get in here yet until the, uh, obviously the roof's on. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a kitchen this end and then it's just gonna be a sort of living space here. A few skylights going in. So yeah, down lights throughout. You all know the drill. So yeah, this is going to be a nice little kitchen to sort of sink my teeth into this one. Center Island, all that jazz. So yeah, good one. Right, so this is where the old consumer unit was. Uh, yeah, very, very dated. And we're going to move it to all the way over here, underneath this floor. And luckily enough, there's about a half a meter gap under this floor that we can uh, run some cable so and it's gonna go in the little cupboard there not following me about anymore no so yeah we'll crack on 
Get a bit of work done. Get a bit of filming of Casper in action. See what he's learned so far. Right. Yeah, you have to talk a bit more, mate. You can't just be standing there with your arms crossed. <laughs> I sorted Casper out with a bit of work gear. Yeah. This is the the regatta stuff that regatta outdoors sent me. Yeah, we've got matching clothes, haven't we, mate? Now yeah. I just need to sort him out with some Bisley trousers and get him. Yeah, your boots all right, though. To be fair, you need some of these bad boys, though. I'll sort you out, mate. Don't worry. But sorted him out with some tools. Uh, get him a little velocity bag as well. So um, yeah, all in all, mate, you've done a right out of me yeah. so far, haven't you? Very happy. I appreciate you. Uh, no, no problem, man. No problem. You know that. Um, Anything I can do to help. So yeah, get him his level, let's get him his level three and make a half decent electrician out of him. Hey right. eh, mate? That's right. Yeah. So just to explain to Casper at the moment, we've got one leg of the downstairs ring. Usually I probably, uh, this is gonna have about 15 sockets on this downstairs uh, yeah. circuit. So yeah, gonna put in a ring. So on the drum, We've gone to this far corner, and then from the socket that's gonna go here, we are on this wall, and so I was explaining to Casper, from this wall socket that's gonna be from that blue dot, we need to get to another socket over there. And then from that socket, where are we gonna go from that socket, Casper? Oh, there is another socket there, you're right. We can come back to there, and then from there, it's gonna go back to the ball. So we've got our two legs from this room. They're gonna go back out and then it's gonna hit the dining room and downstairs bedroom. Isn't that right, mate? That's right. Yeah. So we're gonna get you to pull these cables in or what? Yeah, let's do it. So we had Casper here the other day clipping some hole, uh, clipping some holes, clipping some cables. So this is his first ever cable clip run along this joist mate casper measurements if you're between clips what are we using a hammer okay good man and if we're above doorways or if there was ever a sort of fire or anything and the ceiling we had premature collapse what are we using yeah yeah good man good man he's learning he's learning so Casper's just putting in some cables at a minute. What did you do with that cable, mate? Run you ran it through already? Run it. Then look at you. Not messing about, mate. Right. So where is it then? Where's it come out? Did it go right through there? Yeah, right, right, so keep pulling it now, because all that slack is downstairs. So grab that cable. There we go, and keep pulling. There we go. There we go because we need to go down the back of that last joist there and it's gonna hit the socket downstairs. So we need long enough to, for it to drop down. More than enough, mate. That is more than enough. Good man. So after that, what we gotta do, we gotta pour another one in, don't we? We get it down and then another one back, yeah? Down socket, it's just below my feet. Well done, mate. You have to leave you on your own soon, you'll be able to do it on your own. Right, Casper, that leg's in there. Yep. Now what? Cut the cable. Cut the cable, what socket's gonna go to? That one. That one, right. Now after that, what we're we gonna do next? Uh, run it to the board. From what socket? From... The hallway socket, yep, yeah. yeah, you got it. And then, we obviously only gonna have one leg at this socket and one leg at that socket. Yeah. So we need to throw a leg between them. Yeah, just so it keep it continuous. And we have a continuous ring. Here we go. Just gonna run through quickly how I wired all the light in here. So this is gonna be the center pendant. You can see just switch line and neutral. A lot of these rooms are gonna have sort of chandeliers. So I've got two feeds and a switch line at our switch, uh, purely for uh, future proofing, and wanted neutrals at the switch. And again, chandeliers. I didn't want, I have three lots of cables here. 
having big chandeliers. I just wanted switch line and neutral just to make my life so much easier. Hey Casper, we talked about that, didn't we? Did teach you about all the, uh, how we wired all the switches. Yep. So what we got here at this switch. You look so good in them you like glasses. They suit you, man. So we got feed in, feed out, and we, yep. and then we got our switch line back up to our light. That's right. Yeah. All right, Casper's still clipping away. Casper, what did I just do to you? I just filmed a little TikTok Zap with Casper. <laughs> what did I do? Zap me. I zapped him. Yeah. Insulation resistance. If you take that and hold the top, that one and that one, there you go. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zapped him with the testers. A, and a little uh, initiation ceremony, wouldn't it, mate? Yes. <laughs> Got a swift little 250. And he was, he was flapping like a chicken, wasn't he, mate? <laughs> Uh, it's all fun and games, yeah, yeah. as long as he uh, don't go home and say that uh, I've been uh, abusing him at work. Mate, I'm going to report you. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Took it like a champ, mate, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Took it like an absolute champ. I remember at college, I used to do it to me at college when I first started. Yeah, it used to be the norm. I don't think, don't think you can get away with it now. Do you reckon you get away with it if they did it to you at college? They get away with it. They'd probably get done, wouldn't they? Yeah, probably. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt Craig or Wolf and Forest ain't doing it to uh, all the students here. I'd like to think so. Right, so we've got the good old laser set up, ready for our boxes. And what are we going to do with our boxes? Can we hold it up? What are we looking for? Uh, Where do we want our laser line to be on this box? Uh, Straight through the centre of the lugs, don't we? So it's straight through the centre of the lugs. And like I said before, it's going to be dot and dab on this wall. It only sits off about 25 mil. So we're going to chase back about 10 mil because we all know what it's like. When we got the old flat plate socket, say mate, yeah. you know about the flat plate socket, screw the sockets, never really gives us enough room with a 25 mil bat box. So yeah, we'll chase it in. And that will give us plenty of room for our cables. Just having a little wander around the outside of the building. Just sort of planning out where we're going to put some outside lights. And we spotted this. What do you reckon? Enjoying this live, Casper? Uh, Good old connector block on there. This isn't, this is our property here. What do you reckon? Right in this life? Hope not. <laughs> I hope not as well, but I reckon, I reckon it is. Yeah, you can go up there and test it. Uh, that's for you, put, your, put, your tuck, put your tongue on it. Yeah. Let's see if it's live. Right, you could do your uh, your second shock of the day, is, wouldn't it? Is that another initiation? <laughs> another initiation ceremony, yeah. Lick the cable. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're going to put some. This is the extension, by the way. Just having a little mooch on what we're going to do for exterior lighting. The client does want um, a couple down the side uh, on PIRs. And then I think I'm going to go for putting a, uh, a few out on this back wall as well. What do you reckon? If you were looking at this now, Casper, where would you put your lights? On, the, on, the, on this back wall, where would you put some lights? Uh, yeah. I would definitely put one there. And, uh, no. Mate, spot on. So one on that pillar. I'd put one on this centre pillar here. So either side of the, uh, I don't know if it's French windows. I think it's going to be, um, I'm not sure actually. And then, yeah, I'll definitely put one next to that door that's going to open up there. So yeah, good shout, mate. You're learning, you're learning. How I like to do things. I would like to do things how I would like them if I was to live here personally. So I will go around the client and go, look, I think we should have light here, light here, light here. That's how I'd have it. And 90% of the time, the sort of client usually goes along with it. Yeah. Um, especially when it comes to like two-way switching. I've got 
some intermediate switching going on in the hallway here and you just gotta, especially because I spent quite a bit of time here, I know that I'm gonna come through from this kitchen area, through this hallway. So we come through the dining room and most, well, most electricians would just probably put your two-way switch in by the door and one upstairs. But really, I don't wanna, if I'm living here, I don't wanna have to come through this living room, come over here to turn the upstairs lights on and then walk upstairs. So we've added some intermediate switching in that's gonna be on this wall here. So we can come through, turn the lights on or off, and then go upstairs without having to come all, I know it's not a huge, uh, I know it's not far away, but you've got, just gotta treat it how I would like it if I was to live here. So this room's uh, near enough first fix, just waiting for the drill to charge because the batteries are flat and we'll get Casper back in here and chasing them boxes in. What are we going to do now, mate? Uh, are we going home yet? Is it home time, boss? Definitely not. Definitely not. When's home time? Whenever you say. Whenever I say. It is Friday. Do you know about Poets Day yet? What, Poets Day? Poets Day, yeah. No. Well, I'm filming this on a Friday. Right. So do you know what a po Poets Day is? P-O-E-T-S. Poets Day is piss off early tomorrow oh, Saturday. Okay. There you go. <laughs> number, number one rule, Poets Day. So I think we're going to attempt to uh, first fix. Shut up. Uh, we're going to attempt to first fix this dining area now. Hey, mate. Right. Let's get some cables in here. We have got already got a feed coming in for the lights down the switch and we've got one of the legs of the ground floor ring coming in here as well. So uh, we hit all the sockets in here and take one back to the board because we've got another leg coming in here which is just over there. Oh, there it is. It's going to go back to the wall as well. Careful, what's red? Oh! Right, I think we're going to start wrapping this up. How was today, mate? Great. Yeah? Enjoy it? Yeah. Learned a bit. Yeah, probably didn't get as much footage of us working as I'd probably hoped. But you lot have seen one. Why you've seen them all? Like, there's not much I'm going to be able to show most of you. We are, light is dying. The uni light is flickering away. So, it's time to say goodbye. And we'll catch you all on the next video. Remember, like, subscribe, all that. And yeah, see you later. See you later.